Yo, what's up guys, PK here, so another boring day at work, um, just finished now, leaving, going home, and I uh, just want to quickly show you guys something, so, I was talking to my mate the other day, and he goes, um, he's, we're talking about, because you know I'm a sign writer, we're talking about vinyls and things, and, um, and he was asking, he was wondering, like, sort of, what the diff, like, why, like, what the difference is, or whatever, like, so, every vinyl is different, so for example, you can see a whole lot of colours and things here, but what do they really mean, and can you use them for anything? Um, the answer is no. Well, you can, but uh, some areas, some sometimes if you stick stuff to a wall, it can peel up. If, the paint, if, the, if it hasn't been painted properly, if it hasn't been sanded, if it hasn't properly been prep, preparated, or however you want to call it, um, prepared, <laughs> then it just won't stick. It'll peel up. It'll stick, but then like a week later, it'll start peeling, and and people come back and say like, "What the fuck? Why isn't this working?" So, for example, if I show you guys uh, white, where do we have it? Let me go find it. Right. Well, I found us uh, blacks anyway. Three different blacks. So uh, you might be wondering what the difference is, and you can see that ones are slightly higher than the other two. Uh, but that doesn't mean anything, that still means nothing different. So the, the thing you want to be looking at, now they, they might seem exactly the same like black, like they're ever so slightly different, but for example if I show you the backing sheet to it, um, it says on here 30 series. So 30 series is basically the cheapest of uh, vinyl. So the, the very cheap stuff, like if, if someone wants to come in and get, for example, for sale on the back of their car or something, you'd use something like that. Just very cheap uh, promotional vinyl that people, you know, that's, it, it only lasts up to three years, basically. And uh, so the next next one, actually, we're gonna go to this, this N one here um, first. So this is known as APA. Um, or if I quickly touch it with one hand. But if I peel that back and have a look here, it says APA on it. I don't know if you can quite see, but it, does, it says APA. Now basically what that is, is a 5-7 to seven year vinyl, um, good for like cars, and well it's sort of good for cars, um, but it's more like indoor slash outdoor, 5-7 to seven year is good rating, but it has little diamonds in the, in the vinyl, like when you're applicating it down, the little diamonds um, help push the air out, so you basically can't get any bubbles or anything in it, um, if I quickly peel it back and show you a little bit of it, um, then you might be able to see it. Okay, so I peeled it back just to show you some samples, so as you can see the first one, right up close, it actually it doesn't have anything on it, um, so you can get bubbles and creases and things in that, but this is the one I was showing you about here, which is also known as uh, bubble free vinyl, so if I show you just right and close here, it might be a little hard to see, but uh, there's actually little diamonds, as you can see, I don't know if you can, but there is uh, miniature diamonds in there, and it actually push, pushes the, uh, the bubbles out when you're applying it. And the lucky last one that I was uh, telling you about is this three there. Um, this last one is actually a very high performance vinyl. So it's basically a seven to eight year vinyl. Um, it is a cast, so therefore you use it for vehicles. You know, if you're going around a bumper or something, it's good to heat that and uh, fold it around a bumper. But yeah, I don't want to go too much into depth in it because it's my job, not like your guy. Like it's not your problem to know the difference between them. That's why you have a thing called a sign writer. Now, I learned this stuff over years of basically learning it, stuff like that, and my apprenticeship, which is uh, in this drawer here. Um, some of the work that I had to do to. And here's just a quick example. I had to go through all these different uh, things. Those are sort of vinyls you can get, like you know, block out vinyls, anti graffiti. If people like you know, tag or whatever, and these are all different types of vinyls that you can get, they all do different things and stuff like that. It's a bit confusion, but uh, yeah, I have to learn it, unfortunately. Right, so one final thing now to, to win you guys some money. So what you're going to do, if you're at the pub or if you're out drinking with friends, and there's a pool table, um, I'm going to show you a quick trip, a quick trip, trick, God, I can't even word it right, a quick trick um, to show you how to win some money. So what you want to gonna do is uh, I'll use it for example these two balls and then I'll use this black ball. So if I just set this up here. Now what you're gonna tell them is you, you say you're not gonna be able to hit this ball 
with like the white ball once you hit it you're not going to be able to hit this without touching these other two so if, hold on it might take a while come on I've done this before people are like what the fuck are you doing alright come on stay there Right, so I had to use a few more balls. I mean, it looks a bit better now because it's like a bit more busy, but if I quickly show you over there, uh, the black ball is currently sitting on top of all those balls, and uh, basically you're going to give them a pull cue. You're going to stand down here with the white ball and a pull cue, and you're going to tell them you have to hit the black ball, not touch any other ball with the white ball. Oh, you're going to have to hit the black ball with the white ball, but not touch any other ball. You're not allowed to touch it with your hand, you're not allowed to touch it with the cue, you know, you're not allowed to do any of that. So, they're basically going to be like, you know, it's fuck it, it's impossible, you can't do that shit. And you're going to prove them wrong, you're going to be like, give me 20 bucks and I'll prove you fucking wrong. And then you're going to go like this, and come over to, uh, to the white ball here, and you're going to sit down, ready to hit this black, and basically, you go... It's going to suck if I fail, but you go like this. Yeah, it, it, I failed. <laughs> so you're going to have it all set up like this, and you're going to say, you know, you can't hit that, and I'll prove you wrong. And then this is basically how you do it. You go, one, two... <laughs> yes, 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 no! <laughs> oh my god, that was close. Okay, I didn't quite do it, but you get the picture, and that really hurt my head. Alright, home time, eh? Lying in the sun there, like that, you lazy dog. Here I am working, and you're just lazing about, eh? In the car! In the car! Come on. Oh, she knows when it's home time. Alright, I have this little toy here and the cat goes crazy over it. Here we go. <laughs> Wait. Put it down here. Here it goes. Being boring over there. You crazy cat. Oh shit, she's looking at that cord. She's looking at it. You crazy cat! You can't get it! You're not supposed to! Your toy down here, look! This is your toy!